What's going on, y'all? Ground Mo here, back in this thing again, man, with another video. And today's video is a uh, local story here in Atlanta, and it is basically a man from Atlanta shot a movie theater up because a guy did not want to get out of the seat. I guess that he bought, which is stupid. It still doesn't really justify what he did. But anyway, man, uh, yeah, we're gonna we're gonna show a little bit of video, and then we're gonna read this article here by Fox Five, and the, the name of the article is "Police Release Images of Suspect Witness in Fitz Plaza Movie Theater Shooting." So yeah, that's uh, that's pretty crazy, man. Shout out to Trey Shovels for sending me this article. Well, sending me the video in the first place. He sent me the actual video where they were, uh, you know, they were running around in a the movie theater like, ah, 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 they're shooting, they're shooting, they're shooting. Which is, uh, you know, they, I can understand why they're scared, man, because that's, you should feel safe in the movie theater. And I think that's lame as hell. How many of y'all went and saw Spider-Man, though, and did you think it was good? Let me know. I went and saw it. was pretty good. Right now, the search is on for a gunman after an argument over a seat at a Buckhead movie theater led to a shooting. And as Fox House Angeli Proctor reports tonight, the gunfire sent everyone running. Atlanta police say this shooting happened about 1045 last night inside the AMC theaters. They say the dispute between two men was actually over a movie seat assignment. It's like this everywhere. People are just angry. Atlanta police say an angry moviegoer at the AMC theater at Phipps Plaza in Buckhead got so upset about his movie seat that he pulled out a handgun to solve the problem. The Monday night gunshot during the showing of Spider-Man created quite a disruption. Uh, if you can imagine uh, any incident inside a movie theater, uh, obviously genres up any t uh, kind of pandemonium. Uh, the patrons inside the theater obviously heard the gunshot, uh, quickly exited. Police say the argument started over an assigned seat in the movie theater. But we know that when the, uh, the suspect got to the, the movie had already started, uh, proceeded to the seat and their seat was occupied. And some type of argument uh, ensued over the seat. Uh, and again, instead of just going to get a movie attendant to help resolve it, uh, the, the shooter decided to use a handgun. Atlanta police released this picture of the suspected shooter and a woman he was with whom they call a witness. The 24-year-old victim is in the hospital tonight while moviegoers are sickened by the violence. Uh, someone could have lost their life. It's, that's crazy. It's Christmas. It's a little too much. Atlanta police are busy working this case. They say if you have any information, give them a call. What y'all think about the video, though? Did y'all think that, uh, how do y'all think that he handled it? Did you think that the guy who was sitting in the seat when he came in was being a bitch ass and then that's why he shot him? Or do you think that he just came in and saw somebody sitting in the seat and just he was just mad and whoever was doing him wrong that day was going to get it? Let me know what you think about that right there, man. But uh, I thought it was idiotic on both sides. I think that the guy who was sitting in the seat, if he didn't, if he didn't get up when the guy came in, you're an idiot. And uh, I mean, you didn't deserve to get shot. But, I mean, you deserve something, man. Maybe get kicked out of the theater or something like that. But uh, you knew when you bought the seat where you were supposed to sit at. So you're not, unless you're a retard that can't read, you know where you're supposed to sit at. So don't sit in this guy's seat. And then the guy who came in, he's just such a emotional beta male he just came in the first thing he could he couldn't even think logically he just was like, oh yeah i don't want to shoot you because you're in my seat that's idiotic like they said you could have went and got a, a movie attendant and that would have handled it right there he would either had to get out of there or move over stupid as hell these guys just don't know how to handle things man it's just i just can't stand how people act in buckhead man when all these people acting in uh fitz plaza and in lennox mall like it it's like they all they all want to come from the hood or they all want to, you know, want to, want to be fake hood rich and everything like that. She got the nice clothes on and all this kind of stuff. You're supposed to be this high class person. But at the same time, you want to show how street and hood you are. I think that's lame as hell. Like just just keep that element out of it, man. And just show show people that you can act decent. I mean, but I guess you can't really act decent when you're getting your money off uh, scamming and, you know, maybe selling drugs. You never know. Because a lot of folks be out here scamming and all that. If you don't know what they do for a job, they probably scam. But uh, let's go and get to the article and see what the hell they're saying here. Police say the shooting happened at the AMC Theater at Fitz Plaza and Buckhead. Hmm, somebody can't type. Got upset about a movie seat during a showing with Spider Man No Way Home. Police say it caused panic at the theater. One man is recovering in a hospital after a shooting at a Buckhead movie theater late Monday night. Shortly before 10.45 p.m. Monday, 
According to officers, the gunman was angry about where the 24 year old victim was sitting in the theater. So basically, the guy came in, he she came in late. I don't know how late he came in. I guess maybe that's why the guy was sitting in the seat. He probably thought it was fair game at that point. If somebody, if, if nobody's sitting in the seat 20 minutes, I think it's probably gonna be fair game. I think that's, I guess that would be that would be a fair assumption, man. But if uh, he just came in there and just sat in the wrong seat just cause he was he was warming it up for the other guy, then you're an idiot, man. Get what you pay for. But uh, let's go. Let's go and see what we got here, man. We got more video down here than walking. Hurry your ass up. The Spider-Man about to start. Hurry the hell oh, up. Yeah, I have all the teeth of a Spider-Man, but them folk, them, them folk act like they don't want to let me see it. So I guess I'm going to have to walk out. I'll be out there in a second. Hold on. Yeah. Hold on. Ooh, baby, you had shot him good. It was clean. We got to go now. Oh, yeah, but yeah, I had to shoot him. He was in my seat. Now I got to go to Alpharetta to see the movie. I just love a man who can shoot some. All right, so y'all saw that little video right there, man. I don't know uh, what the girl was thinking. I guess she just was like, oh yeah, you shot somebody, I like that. And I guess that's another problem we have in the community as well, man. Folks wanna first off be, uh, they wanna have this hood rich thing going where you, you got some money, but you, at the same time, you wanna act like you're dangerous. And then on the other hand, we've got our ladies running around here wanting to date retards like this. And then be wondering why nobody wants them later on when they got three kids by three different baby daddies that all have the same characteristics. But uh, I don't know, man. I don't know if they were walking away from the crime or what, because it didn't show them running away or anything like that. And I, was, I would assume they'd be running away after something like that. But I don't know if they were walking. They're definitely uh, definitely crazier than initially thought. The medics rushed the victim to Grady Memorial Hospital where he's in stable condition. His identity has not been released. Police released images and video of the suspect and a woman he was with. Investigators call her a witness. If you have any information that could help with the investigation, please call the Atlanta Police Department. So I don't know, man, if y'all got some information, man, go on, call them. But uh, yeah, man, I think they gotta take that guy off the street, man. He's just, uh, he's definitely a menace to society. He's He's an idiot. He's a retard. He's definitely uh, definitely making everybody look bad in these streets, man. Especially here in Atlanta, man. We already have enough crime going on in the Buckhead area that's got these folks like, Yeah, we want to detach from Atlanta because you guys are doing too much. You monkeys. But now we got this bullshit happening. And it's, it's only further making them look better. Well, proving whatever they got going on. But uh, yeah, man, that's it for the video, man. If you know anything, I guess you can hit, hit APD and uh, all that kind of stuff. But uh, just comment down whatever you think about the situation below, man. Uh, did you see Spider-Man? Did you think it was good? I thought it was good. Um, have you ever sat in somebody as a seat and gotten to an altercation? How did it end? How did you work it out? Did, have you ever walked into the movie theater and somebody was sitting in your seat? How did you handle it? Actually, I've walked into the movie theater and somebody was sitting in my seat. I paid for it. I was like, hey, bro, I, I got this seat right here. And that was it. It wasn't no big deal. It wasn't no come in and just start blasting. And I feel like if you talk to somebody regular, I think I feel like he probably came in there and talked to them crazy. But even though he should have got up and gave him his seat, he probably came in there and said, "Get up out my seat, retard!" or some bitch ass nigga, something like that. He probably said something crazy like that, and that's you know that probably started a little uh, verbal altercation. And then he was like, "Ah, ah!" <laughs> so you know how it goes, man. But uh, yeah, if you watch us at this point, man, have a great day. We'll see you next time.